Hi guys and welcome back to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for being here today. So today I'm going to be showing you paneer burji and I've made this paneer or Indian cottage cheese at home. I had you know some extra milk from the previous day and I said what to do with it. So normally I either made I make some caramel custard or I try to make uh, you know something use it for something either I make extra dahi or curd and then I hang hang the, I mean hang the curd and uh, you know take out all the water and then make some kind of a dip uh, I'll put those recipes down in the description box as well as the comment section so today I said let me make some paneer so I have loads and loads of paneer recipes on my uh, channel I'll list all of them down in the description box below but today I'm going to show you a very special paneer burji and it's so so very delicious that you know you can have this with some roti you can have it with some chapati with some dal and rice sorak and rice anything and it tastes so so very good so let's just go into my kitchen and make today's lovely recipe of paneer burji and watch the video till the end because i have a few tips uh, to share with you at the end of the video so see you on the other side
really great recipe. You only want to just go and get your hands on some paneer and make it. Uh, so now, if you don't want to uh, make the paneer, like I'm going to tell you a few hints about making the paneer, or some few tips, you can buy paneer. But few things that you need to keep in mind. Now, I don't generally like to buy paneer, which is you know kept in a in a packet in someone's freezer in a general store, because it does have preservatives and you know it's not. I mean, the taste is also very different. But I like to buy my paneer from these dood uh, shops. Dudha layer or you know milk shops where you you know they sell fresh milk and they sell all milk uh, sweets. Uh, you know you must be having one of them. Uh, you know where they have all of this. You will see some milk boiling in that shop. You will see jalebi. You will see a lot of uh, you know uh, other milk products basically. Uh, so I like to buy mine from there because their paneer is really really fresh and it's you know it doesn't have any preservatives. They make it on a daily basis. And when you're buying paneer, you know touch the paneer when you buy it from the milk person if possible. If it's not packed, it should be nice and soft. It should not have any kind of discoloration. It should not have. It should not become you know hard. It should be very soft. So that is what I keep in mind when I'm buying it. And it should look really white. It shouldn't have turned yellow. It shouldn't have any tinges of any other color. Now for homemade pani. Now I'm going to leave a recipe down in the description box below as to how I make my homemade pani. But um, let me just tell you about it. So basically, you know, if you're making the pani quantity that I was using, it's enough for a family of four. So I just take about a liter of milk, and I bring it to a complete boil. Then I lower the flame to the lowest, and then I add about a tablespoon or two of white vinegar. Because if you add any other vinegar, like apple cider, the color might be you know might change to some a little brown. I don't want that, so I'm using plain white vinegar. Or you can also use lemon juice, but I've I've uh, you know I've used lemon juice, and I found that it was not as effective as the vinegar because you do get the lemony taste. Which I don't want in my paneer. I want it to be like you know, like store bought paneer or like the dudha layer or the milk shop paneer. So I add that, and then immediately you know you will see that the milk kind of breaks, and you will see the milk coming on the, the paneer coming on the top, and the way that uh, is down. So then you just take a big, large uh, uh, you know, muslin cloth or even a gents handkerchief, put it on top of a sieve with the vessel down, and then strain all of that. Into that, and then tie it up and put some heavy weight, and see that all the liquid is, you know, uh, coming out of the paneer. Everything comes out of the paneer. There's no liquid left in it, and also ensure that the strainer is not touching the liquid, because then what happens is, you know, uh, the liquid from the paneer and the liquid down are both in touch, so then all the water doesn't come out. So see that there's enough of gap, and also don't throw out that uh, water or the whey. Cool it down completely. Use it to make your chapatis or your bhakris because it's got a lot of uh, you know health factors. Like it's very rich uh, in I think proteins. I'm not very sure. I'm not a nutritionist, but you know I've been told that don't throw the paneer out, uh, the water out. Use it because it's really really healthy. Use it in your cooking. You know just save it. So that's how I do it, and uh, I will leave the link to my video so you can see it. And then what I do is, after all the water has come out of the paneer, I put it into my refrigerator just like that with the weight on it. And then you know, about about four or five hours, you get the paneer really nice and set. And uh, you know, you can cut it up into cubes, or you can crumble it as I have done with this uh, recipe. So guys, if you like today's recipe, if you've tried it out and you love it, I want you to please leave a big thumbs up. I request you to leave a big thumbs up on the by hitting the thumbs up icon that you see below the video. I do need those likes. Also, do leave your comments and let me know how the recipe turned out. You know what changes did you make in it, or how you liked it, how your family liked it. And don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. I need more subscribers too. And uh, once you have subscribed, don't forget to click the notification bell. That's very important. And then click on all. You have many choices. Once you click the bell, click all. That way, whenever you, uh, you know, whenever I put up a recipe, you'll get a message for the same. And I am putting up a lot of recipes. I have loads and loads of recipes coming up, guys. I literally have my diary full of stuff that I want to make. It's just that I have to get to making it, get all the ingredients, shoot the video, edit it. So you know, but I'm all. All there because of all the support that you guys are giving me, you're watching my videos, you're giving me feedback, and that really motivates me. 
So enough of talking. I love talking, like you can see, and many of you might not even like it, so you can just skip all of this. I think I kept this at the end, but uh, that's about it. And I would love to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for supporting Akshita's recipes and you know giving me your big thumbs ups, which I really need, and also uh, leaving your comments. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So take care of yourself, stay healthy, stay fit, be loving and kind to one another and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita signing off. Bye.